As an artist, I feel that I've always had to create my own identity amongst the art form that I've chosen because I'm a man dressed as a woman. Show me what you like you're feeling. And then if I have anything, and we can also you know, work, customize something, I'm not sure. But I mean, I wanna see where you're going with it. Sometimes I have to ask myself, what is the purpose? And that to me was using myself as my own canvas, using Miss Fame as my vessel, as Curtis. And that to me is a beauty with no boundary, regardless of my gender, and blurring all the lines around that. Showing up in, in um, France and having my husband's flight miss, he had brought the dress, but so many things were turbulent. Like even arriving, I was like, oh my God, is everything gonna come together? I don't know. Look, I have one dress that I thought of you straight away. It's a Zach Posen dress, it's yeah. black. It's, it's really amazing. I come from nothing. And being able to walk into a situation where People have told me I'm elegant and refined and chic. When I don't have that as my background, it wasn't a part of my upbringing growing up on a farm. Um, it gives me the dimension of life experience, meeting my heart's desire. Buddy, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's perfect. perfect. Like right off the bat, I'm like, this makes me feel happy. Like, look at that, it's just perfect. It really made me feel like this is about, this is a moment for you. This is a moment, we're going to make history. We're going to do this, it's different. And we want you to feel comfortable and prepared. Come on, let's do it. Where's that course? Yeah, walk it till it closes. Yeah. Up the top here? Yeah, seriously? Oh yeah, okay. it'll close. Okay. Yeah. It'll look way better when it closes. When L'Oreal first contacted me regarding Can, I didn't know that it was going to really happen. Um, a lot of opportunities that have, you know, in the industry, you'll hear something and you want to wait until everything's solid and concrete. So I was pretty lighthearted about it and, and, and just waiting for the official statement. So I would be a full woman on the red carpet. Like stunning. No beard. Oh, really? Yeah. I was gonna do it today, and then my dress didn't show up until this after. This is my incredible team. Hi, so, team. It's always to meet you. I have an amazing question for you. Do we have a 42 shoe? Yes, yes we do. Yes. 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 42, 43. I have no 42 pairs. See those three pairs. Thank pair. God for Carly Claus. The whole time I'm like, this is like, is there gonna be a moment like? Is this a real red carpet, or am I getting a step and repeat? Like, I kept having to not say things because of the questions that were running in my head of, I'm so used to not being respected at that level. When you're a man dressed as a woman, people expect you to be a comedian. They expect, they have expectations of what you are because of what is industry standard to say. I feel like I blur the lines of what drag can be because my drag is unique. Even though my physical body was there and the actions were happening, it was like I was living in a dream. I couldn't comprehend it because it was the first of its kind. It was like, oh my God, Miss Fame, the drag queen, is happening to be a part of this experience that's never been done before. We're having a, oh, what was that noise? That was a corset right. popping. That bottom bone is open now. Do you want me to get it from the bottom? Yeah. yeah. I it's have to get my hands in. Don't touch his, touch it, John. Fine. Oh, Will is always. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. She'll do anything. She doesn't care. If she can get a feel, she'll do it. If it does, if she if she does anything inappropriate, you will tell me. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> the dress looked immaculate. The team really worked it out. So grateful for that, L'Oreal and the styling team and everybody was just so present. Um, once the dress went on, walking through the halls before departure, everything was just magical. And the, the photos and the video and the, um, the words around the room and the feedback was just so well received. I was so, so, so grateful. It was profound. It was it was one of these moments where I didn't didn't realize it, and then it was happening, and then I was trying to take moments to really let it sink in. I didn't realize it until the car pulled up, 
And I was like, oh my God, this is official. Like, this is actually happening. Everything I've ever wanted could possibly come true. capturing a feeling and that to me is it says a lot more than words could ever say there's like a sense of gratification just to be told you're enough at that level and and I felt it but it also gave me a sense of purpose like now that I've achieved this this goal where I'm getting these validations I really wanted to take it to another level where I can actually have a message of impact that's why the words that support my visual have so much passion behind them. I felt gorgeous. I looked expensive as all hell. Yes. That Zach Posen dress was beyond. And um, I was getting a lot of cat calls on that red carpet. Like, I could hear it, I could sense it and see it. And You could smell it. I could smell it, I could almost taste it. All five scented, <laughs> wait, how many senses do we have? This is the beginning of a very new chapter. Making this impact in Cannes. I feel like it's just opened up doors that are very fresh doors that have never, they're the, the brand new door on the house and I'm getting to walk through this new experience, this new environment and leaving footprints that have not been left before. So I'm excited. <laughs>